that will only happen once in their lifetime. Segedunum Roman Fort and German-based theatre Arnu are no strangers to walls. They took part in the 20th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. Their angelic portrayal at Wall's End meant this flagship event for British Tourism Week was underway with the help of local children whose school has a special relationship with the Great Wall of China. And what was amazing about Segedunum, and I love the place, I was born in Wall's End, um, is that um, there was such a buzz in the atmosphere there. The, 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 I'd never seen so many people coming through and then getting to the point when you know the, the, the event was, was due to happen. I'd nipped home and then drove back and the, the droves of people that were heading down there, you know, out, even hours before the event was, was about to sort of take off, uh, it, was, it was quite phenomenal. And then, you know, the, the final sort of lighting, the pyro and the journey. The biggest challenge with Hadrian's Wall was because it was so, over such a big area. You wanted to be everywhere, so we were speaking to people on mobile phones saying it's gone off. You know, when, let us know when it's got to you, and you know, keep us keep us posted. Uh, so it was, yeah, it was great. The crowds were amazed and enthralled. It was really, really good. good, brilliant. We're going to cycle Hadrian's Wall in a few months. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to cycle along it, so we're really excited about that. Excellent. Where are you from? Yeah. Texas, in America. So you've come all the way from Texas <laughs> to have a look at an old Roman wall. Yeah. We don't have Roman walls in America. Oh, it's fantastic. It's really I, thought, I thought it was really moving, the, the show, you know, with the angels. I thought it was really emotional. I thought the music was wonderful. As the line of light left Wall's End and continued through the city of Newcastle, the beacons shone through even the headlights of peak time traffic. A helicopter and camera would follow the line of light on its journey from Northumberland to the Solway coast in Cumbria. Most people these days either walk the Hadrian's Wall Trail and countryside or cycle around the area to see the scenery at its best. There's even a special AD 122 bus service, but tonight, for one night only, it's a helicopter that gets the best possible vantage point as it follows the beacons along the whole length of the wall. The Emperor Hadrian's soldiers would have taken days to do this journey. The line of light would take an hour. An event that was too big to happen, but also too big not to happen. Hadrian's Wall was an extraordinary feat of engineering. This day was to be an extraordinary feat of community and personal commitment. It was an enormous technical feat. Um, we had individual points of light which were lit um, by gas, um, colour gas, and they provided a wonderfully realistic flame that um, an expert on Roman signalling um, said on the night that the effect was really similar to how the wall would have been lit in Roman times. We were also celebrating um, the 1600th anniversary of the breakdown of the Roman Empire and the Roman administration of Britain. Um, so it was nice to be able to mark that moment as well. 
the logistical challenge was huge. We had um, 13 muster points right the way across the wall. We had um, 24 cells, um, which had 24 people in them each. And um, people were taken from their muster point to the closest access point to the wall. And they took their equipment, their burners for lighting the gas um, and their gas canisters up with them. And they waited at their point of light for the, um, the magic moment when the helicopter came over and they had to light their burner. For Hadrian's Wall artist in residence, Isabella Streffen, this would be the culmination of her role. I came to the project as a whole through um, the, uh, the work going on between Inspire Northumberland and Hadrian's Wall Heritage. Um, I uh, was appointed as their lead artist for a research development phase and got involved with uh, illuminating the wall back in sort of the end part of last summer. Um, I'd asked for something very specific and what I was really looking for was that moment when you know they lit their burn or they lit their f their flame um, we, we thought the best way of actually approaching this would be a work that I would make afterwards which would really be about seeing the wall as it would never have been possible to see it you know 1600 years ago when it was was last illuminated <laughs> There was a whole host of reasons why people wanted to be involved. It could have been to mark an engagement or a birthday or um, they just knew it was a once in a lifetime opportunity and just wanted to be part of it. So I think that in itself was quite motivating because you knew you were going to affect all these, you know, uh, 2,000 people or however many people we had in the end because um, they wanted to be part of something with us. I think it's just the, the concept of it coming to fruition. Um, I don't think anybody would have imagined doing this. Somebody's had this idea and they've, they've brought it to life, which is an amazing job. Um, so like everybody said, it's just going to be fantastic. We, we knew it was being organised and we, we volunteered, we sent the emails off and like people have said the organisation's been excellent and uh, ever since we sort of first started advertising the papers and what have you, we thought we'll get involved.
For nearly 2,000 years, this has never been attempted before. A line of light stretching from the far northeast of the Roman Empire's border to the far northwest. This night would offer a message of hope, history and future. It would be an occasion and operation on a big scale, but with individual memories. Some of the images are absolutely stunning and really fantastic people have really, um, they're kind of, the colours are magnificent, you know, it, the scenery looks fantastic, people look so happy. I think that's really, really kind of the thing that's engaging about that. Mm -hmm.